Welcome back to The Gear Factor. My name is Tim and on this channel I talk about all sorts of gadgets and stuff. And it's all stuff that I've bought. So whether it be a watch or a wallet or an action camera, who knows? Any sort of gear I can get my hands on really. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about wallets. Um, probably. I'm no expert on this, but as you can see, I have tried my fair share over the last few years. I think this move from a traditional sort of bifold with notes and a coin slot and card things, the move from this kind of thing to the, I guess, EDC sort of wallet, the card wallet, the front pocket wallet, however you want to call them. Um, this kind of move happened maybe about two years ago for me. So this is a wallet, as many people will know, and I no longer use something like this. Mostly the reason being is that 90% of the time today we're paying with cards and um, coins and notes don't seem to get used as often. So I ditched one of these, as I say, probably three years ago now. And so no longer use one of these. Uh, this was... I don't know, part of some gift set. So I keep it for, I don't know, emergencies. I don't know, I just keep it. So I decided to ditch that and go for the, the card variety. And I started off buying, buying these two from Amazon and they're both very similar designs. So this one, yeah, this is, um, I don't know what this is called. This says Best Key. I don't know whatever that's a brand or not, but I think I paid about three quid for this on Amazon. Um, as you can see, you can get you know half a dozen cards in there quite easily. I um, I never really got around to using it. It's got a, like a pouch pocket on the back, if you like, and you can put you can put notes in there, and that's actually quite a neat solution. But what I found was the moment that a note turned into coins, this is pretty pointless anyway. So um, I ended up just keeping this handy and just shoving all my um, sort of loyalty cards and stuff like that in it. So this one that I bought at the same time as this one, I think this was about three or four pound. This one might have been about six quid or something. Similar sort of design. All the cards are just held in by this uh, elastic construction. Yet what you have is a one favorite card slot that that you can pull up at the front so if that's your most used credit card then this one just comes up at the front there uh, this one like this wallet also has a pocket elasticated pocket on the back and again you may be able to put some notes in here if you want to screw them up in a ball but um again neat solution Nice and tidy, but the moment one of these turns into loose change, you've got a problem. So I actually ran with this for quite a while. I quite liked it. And this was my main credit card. And in here I kept uh, a few loyalty cards and my other bank card. So uh, this I ran with for quite a while because it, it is literally card sized. So I use this for quite for quite a lot. Um, and uh, I used to keep notes in there and I had my cards in here. This was this was my this was my go to wallet for a little while. Uh, and then when it came to having loose change, I bought a little purse pouch like this. You rapidly end up with something that's not too dissimilar to this kind of thing. However, if you are only intending going out and carrying cards, you've obviously now got something a fraction of the size so it's really about picking and choosing how you think you're going to carry and obviously spend your money so this is where i went to um typically most of the time i'm just using cards and i was probably only taking something like this out with me when i was going to the pub this was my run up for a while cards for most days and then this would be pub night where i perhaps take all the cash that i needed and not take a card with me just in case i uh, went to the bank and got some more money out so what happened next i decided that i wanted something bigger for some bizarre reason for some reason i decided something like this was going to be more suitable for me uh, this is from kinsd and it's actually quite nice um it's probably bigger than a standard wallet 
obviously it's slimmer because you don't have the 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 um the, the coin section etc but i started using this now this was useful because you can have a few card pouches in here you can put your favorite card in the front that you can slide up and in the center here which is magnetized this was where I ended up putting things like receipts and stuff like that. So if I was going shopping, um, till receipts would end up in here. Um, and 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 I used this for a little while until it just started to feel like I was carrying something large again. So I stopped carrying that. I wanted to go back to something smaller, which I could put in my front pocket, which is, uh, which is the main, for me, the main advantage of stuff like this is that you can slit easily in your front pocket rather than in your back pocket where you're likely to sit on your cards and bend them. So I was in TK Maxx, one of my favorite shops for picking up random bits and pieces. And I found this little one from Herschel. And I think I probably used this for about six months, maybe a little longer. Um, I disciplined myself to just a couple of cards and um, then in there again was maybe a bit of uh, paper money or some receipts but this I used for a long long time and it just went with my keys um, everywhere very handy still had the issue whereby you know if I had loose change I would end up taking something like this with me this ended up just being reserved for a Monday night when I play pool um, where I needed some change for tables and also as part of the team I was collecting team subs and so that was nicely zipped up and safe in something like this. Today um, we are on the bifold still again TK Maxx I was in there one day and I spotted this rather nice leather um, Pampiano I don't know how you pronounce it it's Argentinian you'll probably recognize this from their um, leather belts and I spotted this um, and I just had to get it really uh, it's pretty traditional sort of ID one side a couple of cards the other it's just big enough for me to squeeze in a few extra loyalty cards um, stamps that kind of thing and this is my this is my wallet as of today and has been for I'm going to say the last 12 months, maybe a little bit longer. I really like this. There's something more satisfying about leather. So I searched for a coin pouch that uh, would match. And this is where I'm at at the moment. Uh, this was just some little one on Amazon. Six, seven quid, that kind of thing. I don't think it's real leather. Uh, it's quite handy. It's got a little coin section at the front. And basically my notes sit in here so if i want to go out cashless i take this if i know i'm going to need some cash then i slip this into the other pocket so i know people will say that this ends up being perhaps just as big and bulky but i just like the fact that i can pick and choose what i want to take out and these feel a lot more secure than this kind of stuff so anyway um that is my current wallet setup um say this little pampiano is that how you pronounce it pampino Pampino, I bet it's Pampino, isn't it? So I've got this little Pampino leather one here and this faux leather pouch for my coins. And yeah, so there we go. That's my wallet. Um, if you like watching this kind of stuff and listening to me ramble on about a load of nonsense, then please subscribe, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. And I will see you, no, you'll see me in the next video.